Campaigning for a general election has been ongoing for the past six weeks since the writs were issued in April. With two weeks remaining before polling, intending candidates will be making their final efforts to convince voters to be in their favor. While campaigning is widely seen in public, there are certain places which have been restricted. This includes school grounds and any school facilities. The head of education services in NCD, Sam Laura, says this is a directive which has been made clear to all school administrations by the education department. For NCD, copies of this uh, circular were sent out to all schools, all heads of schools. The instruction is quite clear as to uh, uh, not to use facilities in the schools for the purpose of a campaign uh, uh, as well as uh, advising teachers on uh, not to participate in these uh, campaigns. There are 96 elementary, primary, secondary and vocational schools currently operating in the National Capital District. Laura has commended school administrations in the city for following the directive with no schools reportedly being involved in such activities. But he says should such a case be reported, then investigations will be conducted before any disciplinary action can be taken. If schools are one way or the other involved in uh, using school facilities for ele election campaign by you know, intending candidates, then uh, once they are reported, uh, naturally, according to this uh, circular direction, we will have to carry out an investigation to basically to prove whether that has happened or not. And if it has happened, then of course uh, the necessary uh, you know, disciplinary measures will be taken against either the school administration, especially in this case if teachers are involved. While there are some schools believed to be involved in campaign activities, Mr. Laura says he has yet to receive any official report. Gregory Avira, NBC National News, Port Mosby.